to the Supreme Court where a date has been set to hear an abortion case in Louisiana that could impact reproductive rights across the country. The Supreme Court justices will hear oral arguments for the case in March. The lawsuit would require Louisiana doctors who provide abortions to have admitting privileges to local hospitals. This will be the first abortion case heard by the Supreme Court since President Trump appointed Justices Neil Gorsuch and Brett Kavanaugh. CBS News reporter Kate Smith has been covering the abortion fight in Louisiana and she joins me now on set. So some people might ask, if you've got Roe v. Wade, how is this even possible? So Roe v. Wade legalizes the procedure nationwide, but it leaves room for states to regulate how they administer it. And how they administer it and how far a state can go is exactly what's at the heart of this Supreme Court case. So essentially what they're looking at, admitting privileges, it's part of a larger web of targeted regulation of abortion providers. And basically what the Supreme Court is going to look at is how far can a state go before you can consider an undue burden for the patient who's trying to receive an abortion? So give me a sense of how you think this case might look. That's a great question, right? So uh, yesterday, the Center for Reproductive Rights, they issued their opening brief. It's 63 pages. Mm -hmm. I read through the whole thing. Um, really interesting to note, there's very little mention of abortion in here. That's because in 2016, there was an identical case in front of the Supreme Court, mm -hmm. Whole Woman's Health, and that looked at the exact same type of procedure, admitting privileges. Mm -hmm. And so their entire argument is about more, it's a legal argument, that if the Supreme Court has already looked at an issue, has already made a decision, it is not the place of district courts to reinterpret those facts. You know, there has to be some kind of, you know, for better, you know, for lack of a better phrase, rule of law. Mm -hmm. If the Supreme Court says something, you have to follow regardless of politics. So a good mm -hmm. chunk of this brief right here is really just focused on that. And then they go in to say that even if that didn't exist, even if the 2016 decision hadn't been made, mm -hmm. we would still find this unconstitutional because it is an undue burden for patients in Louisiana. So it's so complicated, but let's say <laughs> that it, let's say the Supreme Court does uphold this. Those doctors that have admitting privileges, so what happens in that process, right? Doctor, there is only one person in the entire state of Louisiana that has been successful in gaining admitting privileges. Interesting to note, he got those admitting privileges through a private practice where he does not actually do abortions. So an abortion doctor, if you will, someone who only does that, has never actually received admitting privileges in the state. And what we reported earlier this month, exclusive to CBS News, was that actually he plans to retire if this case actually is upheld. If that so law, there'll be no doctors then? Exactly. Period. You would see the very first state in the country have virtually no access to legal abortion. Some say that's effectively regulating the procedure out of existence. Mm. It's a lot to watch, isn't it? Yes, uh, it, it is. really is. Kate, I'm grateful that you're on this beat and, and can keep us up to date on what's going on. Kate Smith, thanks so much for joining us.